I didn't think I didn't like the beginning of practice. I didn't think it was uh, tense enough, but it got better as as, uh, as the day went on. So good group and uh, uh, good hard working group of guys so far. Three days. Ideally, do you want a separate guy for punting and a separate guy for kicking? Yeah. yeah I just think it's a big workload in practice more than anything else, and and I think we might have that, but. Uh, the biggest first concern is field goals, and then the second concern is punt. But they're both important. I don't know where we're at right now in the depth chart, but we got time to figure that out. What are you seeing from your wide receivers so far? They've been pretty competitive. Made some catches. You know, the three veterans and and Trey and Samaji and Nate. We know we got players there. Uh, we got a couple of newcomers that can help us, and uh, it's been good so far. I think it's. I don't know if we're going to be as deep as I'd want to be initially in the season, but we'll develop the depth, of season, the depth as the season goes along. So you have Cam Denson who moved from corner to receiver and Devontae Neal who moved from receiver to corner. Which one of those two transitions do you think is harder? Uh, I would say going to corner, but uh, Devontae was dabbling in both, and I think they're both at the position they need to be at. Uh, you know, I think we were trying to figure it out, and they were probably trying to figure it out. But I think uh, we got them in the right position. That's the most important thing. And now they've got all camp to get better at it. What do you, uh, what do you like about how Freddie's looks so far? I mean, he's finally healthy. And what yeah, I mean, Freddie's battling. He's not a starter right now. I mean, he's battling for a starting job. Him and Christian Betcher are start are battling for the left guard position. But Freddie's a worker. I mean, he works hard. He gains important to him, and he's gotten better. Uh, but he's still got some work to do. Samaji said the defensive backfield's talking a little smack. Do you like the energy you're seeing from them so far? Yeah, I don't mind the talk as long as it doesn't take away from the, the play. I want them to have some fun. What I don't want them to do is, you know, I got on yesterday about complaining a little bit because we keep scoring and have a win or lose every practice, and I don't want them complaining to the referees or complaining that they were getting held or, or complaining that the, the spotter didn't spot the ball right. And, and think, I think they understand that. But I want the competitiveness, and I want them to have some fun, and I think they're doing that. You obviously like to keep things moving at a brisk pace during practice, how long does it take for new guys to become acclimated to that? Uh, usually uh, probably a whole camp, normally. Uh, now some guys adapt really quickly, but their heads are spinning right now and the first two weeks is gonna be really crazy for them because you can prepare in the summer, like and our guys did a good job of that, but nothing prepares you for the pace of our practice and that's intentional the way we do it. And does it frustrate you when they don't get it, or do you kind no, of no? Not the them freshman. It frustrates me when a, when a veteran a guy's been in a program three or four years struggles with that. So they know better, and and uh, they usually don't. I usually don't have to get on them too much. At what point do you think you can start evaluating more than putting stuff in as far as week one? Oh, we evaluate from from day one. From every drill we do is is teaching and evaluating at the same time, and it'll be that way the first two and a half weeks. Given Michael Ella T some looks at center. Are yeah, you he's a big man, and he's you know everything is new to him, but he loves football. He's uh, he's gotten better every day, and he's going to be a really good player for us at some point. Ideally, you want the O line guys to be able to play in multiple positions. Yeah, especially center. I think we always got to look for a center. You know, we try to have at least four taken reps, and uh, with with uh, came and graduating, you know, we're repping a lot of guys there. Do you think the offensive line can be a position of strength for you? Uh, I think so. We're a little bit bigger maybe than, than we have been, uh, but we've been pretty athletic up front. And our, these, these guys, I think, are fairly athletic, but it needs to be a position of strength. What I'm concerned is do we have eight, you know, a, a five starters and, and three other so-called starters, a center, a guard, and a tackle, and I'm not sure we're there yet right now. When, when you say it needs to be a position of strength, what, what do you mean by that? Well, it's because, we, you know, I don't want to have to say, okay, we got to try to trick them to get a first down every time. Well, hopefully that if the numbers match up, you know, we'll be able to block the right people and move the people around a little bit and have some success. When you're looking at a thing like kickoff return, how much of time can you put into that during practice? During well, we're cognizantly, I mean, we're putting us, working us, uh, two special teams every day, most of the time three, and not only during practice, but during our walkthrough time. And we're devoting a lot of time and energy to it. Coach Rago's done a good job in preparation. And, and our guys like it. You know, the way we do special teams, there's sort of some starters on there, but most of our special teams are backups trying to be starters. And, and they compete pretty hard for that. I like, I like the way our, our system works with that. And, and I think we should be pretty good in special teams. Have you always been so hands-on with special teams? Yeah. I, what happens, you know, is obviously calling the plays, you know, I'm in touch with the offense all the time. I obviously pay attention to defense too, like a head coach does. But being involved, so involved with special teams allows me to, to be more in touch with all the players and all the time. And that's, as a head coach, if you're not just standing back here for me, my personality is you want to be, you know, be able to teach and, and help a little bit as much as you can. And, 
and uh, I try to help Coach Regal as much as I can in those those units. With the guys being in shoulder pads today, did you notice anything different? Uh, the attempt, the, obviously, the inside run drill, the, the intensity was pretty good. I thought they they uh, we practiced with some physicality, but being smart. But again, the beginning of practice needs to get jump started a little bit more. And it's hot when we first go out there, I know that. But I think our guys will understand for our next one on Monday. When will they be in full pads? Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday. Kind of going back to the special teams, what do you like about Matt Moore and his place to get colder? Well, he's an ex-quarterback. Um, um, I don't know how accurate he's throwing it right now. He throws it all over the place. But he got a strong arm and he can run. I mean, he's a big physical guy and he's got good hands. So I don't know who the holder's going to be, but Matt's done it before and he's taking good reps at it now. You mentioned Christian Botcher. I don't think you practiced today. You know what's going on with him? Yeah, but I'll give you the injury report on Thursday at BYU.